just just some more quick updates here because I don't want I don't want to forget board boxing. Welcome back to the show. Another quick update: Jaime Munguia is confirmed to fight John Ryder in January. This is actually a, a pretty big fight between these two fighters. Now, in the grand scheme of things, and in that mass money thing, you know, of course, everyone's looking past Canelo, Benavidez. Who's going to go where? Munguia coming off that fight with Derevchenko, a super durable guy who is moving up in weight, but still proved to be very durable against the volume punching of Munguia. When you take when you take a guy who just fought to Derevchenko in a hard win, and then you make him go against another super durable guy who went all 12 rounds with Canelo, albeit uh, injured Canelo, more of a handicapped Canelo, we see what happens to people after they lose to him. Canelo has this Mayweather effect, so to speak, and it's because, well, what happened? He lost to Mayweather, and he became a much better fighter. You could argue it with Caleb Plant as well. Although Caleb Plant lost to Benavidez, he still came back and had a great fight with Anthony Durrell and uh, has made a name for himself in that respect. People who lose to Canelo learn a lot about themselves and about boxing in general. Jaime Munguia versus John Ryder, the guy who just lost to Canelo. I think it's going to be a shootout. John Ryder, you know, outside of that Canelo fight, John Ryder is tends to be a little bit more aggressive. You know, not that Munguia is unfamiliar with aggressive fighters, and he's not unfamiliar with shootouts, and he has a decent chin because Derevchenko is lighting him up because of his defense not being all there. I think we have have a 50-50 here. I think really you could go either way when it comes to these guys. Now, John Ryder might be on the way out in terms of things. I think some people might view this as a a high profile tune up, but I, I don't I don't necessarily see it that way. I think John Ryder, if he's hungry enough, if he wants to try to come back and earn another shot at Canelo, which please God do not let that happen. Do not let Canelo retire on a John Ryder sequel because oh I, I I can't even think about that. I really can't even think about that. No, but it, it's gonna it's gonna be an even fight. I think I think Munguia versus Ryder is gonna be an exciting yet even fight, and I think it is gonna be a shootout. I think it's gonna be who's the most durable. I think it's gonna be who has the most energy and who really controls the pace. So interesting fight. Who do you guys have? This is all I got. I'm done.